Hello everybody. You're yeah, welcome to another episode of your favorite show on YouTube, The Marriage God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, yeah, welcome back. Um this is the second episode. Um the first episode was um wonderful. Amazing. The link will be attached to the description of this video. If you've not seen it, do well to watch that and then gain some wisdom and then, you know, follow suit on this one. All right, so today we have, um, you know, <laughs> I wanted to say that it's only the women, it's only the wives that are sending, <laughs> complaining. that are complaining as it were, maybe because the husbands are, they are, they, they claim a lot, they internalize, and, they, and then to, they try to be tough, tough and, and just handle they, the matter themselves. Uh, they assume that they, they, <laughs> they have can, to they can, they can always overcome whatever. <laughs> That nothing happens in marriage that can please so it. let's keep saying it. You know, your salvation lies in what you say. Uh -huh. When you that's bring that's up true. your issues, you receive wisdom yes. and advice, and you are free. Yeah. Please. Sometimes the wisdom you need is in the mouth of another person. Yeah. Right? Sometimes you don't know it all. Yeah. And of you know, if you try to figure it out, two years may pass, five years yeah. may pass, and a lot may break within those number yeah. of years. So instead of trying to figure it out by yourself, just seek wisdom. Mm -hmm. Seek wisdom so that you can deal with it in the first year and then you keep you enjoy your rights in the you know in the, next, in the coming years. Yeah. Alright, so we have um a complaint from a wife and she said that um I just got married and I'm heavily pregnant. So my husband's friends keep coming to the house every single time. Every single time. Uh Every single time, let's say, is it every day? <laughs> let's just say maybe a few times a week. Like, can it be? Can it be every day? <laughs> My dear, what about the frequency? <laughs> it can be every day. <laughs> so what she said that they keep coming to the house every single time, mm. and whenever they come, they would always want to eat. Of course, men. And this stresses me a lot. Mm. Remember, she's pregnant Heavily. because I would have to cook in large quantity. That means that the friends are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one friend, it's not two friends. So I would have to cook in large quantity and when they are gone, I would do the dishes alone. It's now a routine for them. Right? Sincerely, it's actually no big deal. But in my condition, it's really inconveniencing me. I have complained to my to my hobby, but he is not doing any, anything about it. Instead, he is telling me to try. The thing is my hobby doesn't go to their houses to stress their wives. <laughs> I don't know why they are stressing me in this condition. So she's really stressed actually for her to stressed. bring it up. Yeah. Because from what she said, it's not it's not a big deal. Had it been she was not yeah. pregnant, had it been she was not in her condition, yeah. it's something she can handle. Maybe she had been handling it before she, before got, pregnant, she got pregnant. Right? And she didn't complain about it. But now that she's pregnant, you know, it's taking a toll on her. And all right, um, I have an advice for you, um, dear woman, and you know, but I'll give it at the end of the video. But before we get to that point, let me let me hear what's what my wife has to say. Okay, so um, this is a very like it's a typical problem in most homes. Okay, and first off, while I was thinking about it, this is her first pregnancy, so everything is new to the man yeah. and to the woman. To the so I, I, I want to say this that dear husbands, when we talk about what we feel during pregnancy, we are not making it up. That's exactly <laughs> how we feel. I want to plead with us. That's exactly how we feel. Because sometimes okay? the men we can think they're making it up. Today yes. my waist, today my I show that yes. around my head, my eyes. What was the connection of the eyes and neck dancing? <laughs> At some point, one of our friends had to tell us that her, his wife had to hide to be thrown up. You understand? Because she felt that ah, maybe my husband will be thinking I'm making this up. No. So I understand the fact that this her first pregnancy, okay, and it's new to everybody. So I'm, I'm just trying to tell our husbands that we don't make those things up. Yeah. When we tell you we want to eat burnt beans on that <laughs> bridge, that is what we want to eat. Do you understand? So because some people say, ah, ah, don't be picky when you carry. What is I'm wrong? I'm trying to remember a story. Is it someone that said that she wants to 
eat a kind of food but they should cook it and take it outside of you oh, she wants to be eating where they are tipping sand okay yes <laughs> where, like where they are pouring sand she wants to see that they are eating. that they, they smell it's what, is, it's so, what makes it delicious so that's for her. it it's that's how it works for us do you understand like pr- like for example when i was pregnant i did like taking double water it had to be ice block i mean blocks i chew block and i was eating i think i was eating raw pepper mm. so if you see me you... i suffered <laughs> so, so if it's, you it's are not pepper and a touch of rice <laughs> So, if you are not understanding as a husband, you would think I want to punish you. So, that's the first thing I want to say. That whatever she's saying that she's going through, she means it. Pregnancy takes a toll on late oh my yeah. goodness you you can't imagine even yeah. we can't imagine it yeah. because by the time you are done with the pregnancy and you're looking at what you were craving like ah, was i okay yeah. so it has a lot so that's that then secondly i'll say we need to learn to be kind to our partners okay kindness is one of the very important ingredients in marriage yeah. Yeah. do you understand so if this is the scenario rather than telling her try try to when your friends go try to help her out in the kitchen Mm. i'm not saying you should tell your friends not to come so because i feel you know there are some people that love people to come to their houses you know they like their houses to be bubbling do you understand so she's not she i'm not sure she's trying to tell you that okay don't bring the friends she's just telling that she's stressed so kindness goes a long way so you can help her after the whole thing to do the dishes that's one number two is that sometimes you can say oh yeah let's buy food from outside yeah, and come and sense. eat mm. rather than stressing her she should we because even... cooking is a whole lot jesus because you have to go to markets and the way she's talking, I don't think they have a help in the house. No, obviously. So you have to plan, go to the market, yeah. get the things to cook, come yeah. and prepare them. After preparing, save the guests. Save After the serving, guests. do the dishes. Huh. Ah. To even cook for one person, it's not easy. Let alone cooking with a baby inside of you and with four people. So kindness kindness yeah. it's important so you could as well go and source out those foods from outside order just that she'll be glad to sit with you and enjoy there's no woman that what i want to suffer but try to understand that at, in this her condition there is not much she can do to help in this matter that's yeah, yeah. That's that's very very submission. true. Kindness is very important. <laughs> Wonderful submission. <laughs> <laughs> Kindness is very important in marriage, and um, and I think one thing too that may also be an issue is the this role kind of thing. Hmm. Maybe the husband believes that yeah. the kitchen is exclusively the rights right. of the wife. Please, so, let me say this. <laughs> I want to talk about this. Maybe just give me one minute. I have... One minute. What I have a rose in the lion. <laughs> <laughs> the lion has a reason. Yeah, yes. <laughs> All right. OG lion. <laughs> Devour. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not a lion on any of that. Not by him. Okay, so I want to say that, that please... Marriage is a hundred percent commitment. Okay, I know we live in a part of the world where we have roles assigned to genders. That's okay. That's fine. No, that's beautiful. The woman is the homemaker. That's good. It's biblical. The husband is the protector, the provider. He takes responsibilities and all that. That's good. But in as much as we have those roles assigned, marriage is also hundred percent. Hundred percent in the sense that I can do what he's doing without getting annoyed and he can do what i'm doing without getting annoyed i don't know if you understand and without feeling that i am helping her or that she's helping me it's a team teamwork we are in a team together yeah so uh, if i do the dishes let it not let me let me not do it as mm. though i am helping I, I her to do her work. Wash plates. do you understand it's yeah it's a teamwork so so i would always say yeah they said when people come into the home the first thing if the home is scattered the first thing that goes to mind is the woman is scattered but me i say that when people come into the home they shouldn't find any lapses so if you are having visitors and maybe the parlor is scattered or something just fill in 
encourage it. Shop, 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 shop. Do you understand? Let people not feel that there is any any gap. Same thing for um money, finances. Yeah. So yeah. people should not feel like uh, uh, people should not even know where the money is coming from. I don't know if you understand. So if you're the woman, you are earning more now. People should not know that you're the one picking up the bills. Yeah. So that's the hundred percent. So for this role issue, that's the thing. The man, you, you're right. The man might feel that, oh no, that's your work. You're a woman. You should cook. You should clean and all that. But we understand. We need to cook. We need to clean. We need to keep the home. But sometimes we'll need. Help. Yeah, help. We'll need yes. assistance. Yes. The same way sometimes you will need assistance financially. You, yeah. you there's no man that likes woman every time coming I want creep. I want this. I want that. Sometimes they want the women to at least yeah. be able to do some things for themselves. Do you understand? So the same way you feel that, that's the same way we we also feel that you should come in. Same thing with the kids. Parenting. Do you understand? It's a hundred hundred it's a hundred percent. It's not a fifty fifty. It's a hundred. I give my all and you give your all. Yeah. yeah. That's the way that's the way actually it should be. And okay, um to the husband, I would say that um of course if we are to judge in this matter, I can say that the husband is at fault, right? Yeah. yeah. So to the husband, I would say what I would just say is that um sometimes we need to listen to our wives. So if your wife is complaining that this is taking a toll on her, listen to what she's saying. With don't empathy. with empathy yeah. don't just don't just disregard it yeah. as though she doesn't know what she's saying or just you know like she said that the, all she would tell him is to just try because if he sees he's not this smart yeah. it's not to wash it's not, it's not just to wash plates, plates now. and and <clears throat> sometimes it's comparison too because as as men we can look outside and we'll mm. see a pregnant woman you know hmm. hustling daily and i'm and i'm like okay i go out i bring the money you, you are just at home why can't you do this morning now and uh, your mates are they not outside <laughs> <laughs> maybe you've seen you know pregnant women doing a whole lot of things mm. but you know so that comparison should not be there your wife is your wife and if she's saying that this particular thing is stressing me then you should pay attention to that thing yeah you should pay attention to it. Pregnancy is a whole lot, especially first pregnancies, both for the wife and for the husband. The husband does not know what pregnancy entails. He has not been there. He has not, you know, maybe he has not taken care of a pregnant woman before. So he himself is clueless, clueless okay. right? You know, of all the of, of the things. So you have to, we have to learn as husbands to pay attention to what our wives are saying. Mm. You know, when they say so, 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 listen listen and take action because we are meant to be the protectors of our wives so don't just disregard and don't compare her with um with other pregnant women and then you know a solution that you know as the man you can now if you love people coming and you can't do without people coming number one is that you can find a help in the house yeah. so the help will go to the market the help will do the dishes so all your wife will do the help will prepare the yeah. ingredients yeah. all your your wife has to do is to come and mix maybe because you love the way she cooks cool. so she will come and mix you know trusting that she will have Not the strength mix, cool. And mix now. Is you it mix. mixing? What is that mixing? <laughs> Cooking is mixing things now. You mix all the ingredients. Please use the right words. We are not mixing. Uh, but it's not uh, mixing. Cook. If you add water and put pepper and ton, it's not cook. mixing. It's cooking, sir. Mm. Say whatever. cooking. What are you mixing? You, when you say mix, it just as if you say my gift. This one just turn it like this. <laughs> 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 so that that that's what you know the husband can do. Then for the wife, my advice is that instead of complaining, you said I've complained. I don't know what you mean by complain. Instead of complaining, maybe what you mean by complaining is that you've told the man. But instead of complaining, you know, let me say that complaining is just you. For example, nagging. Oh, I'm tired. This thing is stressing me out. Try to communicate effectively with your husband. Maybe after all is said and done. Maybe the next day you can call him, you know, when he's happy, when you fed him with the, you know, the good meal he wants, Foods. food, Foods. whether food or the other food, any food that you, you have fed him and he is in the excited state, you can now present your matter 
just like Esther presented her matter, mm. you know. So you know when your husband is at rest and when he can listen to you. So you come and you discuss with him. This is how, you know, this thing is 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 not easy on me and all of that. You give all your reasons calmly and try to express yourself. So that is effective communication, not nagging or just complaining or shouting. That's number one. Then number two is don't overdo yourself mm, we have had cases whereby pregnant women fainted while trying to do house mm, chores sure. while trying to do a whole lot of things so don't overdo yourself if there's a particular day that you know uh maybe it's time to prepare the food for the friends you can just if if your body is doing you somehow you cannot take it tell your husband please today is not ah i've tried but i cannot please i i i won't be able to handle this do you understand so don't try to you know keep over you know sometimes we can say that okay women should you know it's it's a balance i'm not saying you should not be submissive to your husband but i'm saying that don't overdo yourself always be expressive to okay husband today today is, is a totally um is how do is a totally what now today off is day. not so good it's, an, it's my off day <laughs> pregnant women they have their off day and their on day exactly. i remember when my wife was uh, uh um the first trimester <laughs> I want in love with clients. Is today your on day or is it your off day? <laughs> because some days your your wife is all full of strength and you're like, ah, it's not this woman that was in the day for yesterday. So some days are like that and some days that they are totally off. So any day you are totally off, you know, don't be true to yourself. Don't try to just push yourself to do and then at the end of the day you break yourself down. And so that's just my advice, communicate effectively. And then number two, don't try to overdo yourself. When you, are, you don't have the strength to do, you know, you know those, those cooking, going to market and cooking for the friends, you know, politely tell your husband that oh, today is not a good day. Right? I'm not sure I can handle this. Can we buy food for your friends as they come? Or, um, yeah, can we buy food or whatever? Or can we, can we do the visit in another friend's house? <laughs> <laughs> all right i don't know if there's any final word no no um final word final word is just let's let's just love our partners yeah. you know love is a whole lot mm. i love love <laughs> love is a whole lot there's a part of love that requires commitment okay mm. there's a part of love that requires selflessness yeah. some of the problems we have in marriage is because we are self selfish yeah. oh, we think about ourselves so i'm thinking about my friends i'm thinking about what i feel i'm thinking What's about your friends what will I, say, will say. If, <laughs> if, if you say ah, today, if you tell sure, them that my wife is not cooking today, today will they, <laughs> ah, like ah you have lost control of your house <laughs> So friends can be like that, and it's also important a point out to be careful of the kind of friends you keep. Yeah. I know a wife that lost her husband to friends. The husband listened to wrong people, and that's how the marriage turned yeah. till today. She's suffering a once loving husband was just advised that ah he's giving his wife too much space, and that was it. So we need to. We need to be careful, and women. We need to pray. Husbands pray. The kind of associations our husbands and our wives meet. You know yeah. things like that. Just see your wife turning upside down. Just mm. a split second. We need to pray. Because words are powerful. Yeah. Please listen to matters. It matters. Your fellowship determines your. your what now? I want to bring out the quotes. Hmm. Your fellowship determines your something. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so who you listen to determines your output, what you do. Sometimes you yeah. think that words don't get to you, but listen to somebody, you know, constantly. Listen to a friend. Let the friend keep telling you, ah, your husband is not doing well. Why is he not doing this? Why is he not? Why is he not? Why is she not? Why is that one not? Why is that one not? You find out that before long, you start thinking about what the friend is saying, and you now start nagging your 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 home that was once peaceful will become chaos chaotic because of you know what you've just heard from people all right so that's where we'll be ending it in today's episode of the marriage court let's know who do you think is in the wrong is it the wife is she is she doing too much 
is she um just being showing herself too much should she just keep cooking is it the wife that is at fault is it the husband that is not you know considerate what do you think the wife can do what do you think the husband can do let's hear your thoughts in the comment section all right thank you so much we'll see you again thank you so much we'll see you again next week friday um 8 p.m right Yes, is it 8 p.m. or we'll something? We'll be here by 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Okay, 8 p.m. Here by 8 p.m. 8 p.m. See you. See you. Bye.